An old soldier's home is a military veteran's retirement home, nursing home, or hospital, or sometimes even an institution for the care of the widows and orphans of a nation's soldiers, sailors, and marines, etc. United Kingdom In the United Kingdom the Royal Hospital Chelsea was established by King Charles II in 1682 as a retreat for veterans. The provision of a hostel rather than the payment of pensions was inspired by less invalid in Paris. The Royal Hospital Chelsea, often called simply Chelsea Hospital, is a retirement home and nursing home for some 300 veterans of the British Army. It is a 66-acre site located on Royal Hospital Road in Chelsea, London. It is an independent charity and relies partly upon donations to cover day-to-day -day running costs to provide care and accommodation for veterans. Any man or woman who is over the age of 65 and served as a regular soldier may apply to become a Chelsea pensioner i.e. a resident, on the basis they have found themselves in a time of need and are of good character. They must not, however, have any dependent spouse or family and former officers must have served at least 12 years in the ranks before receiving a commission. The site for the Royal Hospital was an area of Chelsea which held an incomplete building, Chelsea College, a theological college James I founded in 1609. The Royal Hospital opened its doors to the Chelsea pensioners in 1692 for the relief and succour of veterans. Some of the first soldiers admitted included those injured at the Battle of Sedgemoor. The hospital maintains a military-based culture which puts a premium on comradeship. The in pensioners are formed into three companies, each headed by a captain of invalids an ex-army officer responsible for the day-to-day -day welfare, management and administration of the pensioners under his charge. There is also a secretary who traditionally was responsible for paying the army pensions, but today they look after the annual budget, staff, buildings and grounds. Further senior staff include the physician and surgeon, the matron, the quartermaster, the chaplain and the adjutant. A board of commissioners has governed the Royal Hospital since 1702. The ex officio chairman of the board is Hem Paymaster General, whose predecessor Sir Stephen Fox was instrumental in founding the hospital in the 17th century. The purpose of the board is to guide the development of the Royal Hospital, ensuring the care and well-being of the Chelsea pensioners who live there and safeguarding the historic buildings and grounds, which it owns in trust. Royal Hospital is also a ward of the Kensington and Chelsea Council. The population at the 2011 census was 7,252. Greenwich Hospital was a permanent home for retired sailors of the Royal Navy, which operated from 1692 to 1869. Its buildings were later used by the Royal Naval College, Greenwich and the University of Greenwich, and are now known as the Old Royal Naval College. The word hospital was used in its original sense of a place providing hospitality for those in need of it, and did not refer to medical care, although the buildings included an infirmary which, after Greenwich Hospital closed, operated as Dreadnought Seamen's Hospital until 1986. The foundation which operated the hospital still exists, for the benefit of former Royal Navy personnel and their dependents. It now provides sheltered housing on other sites. The hospital was created as the Royal Hospital for Seamen at Greenwich on the instructions of Queen Mary II, who had been inspired by the sight of wounded sailors returning from the Battle of La Hogue in 1692. She ordered the King Charles Wing of the Palace, originally designed by architect John Webb for King Charles II in 1664, to be remodeled as a naval hospital to provide a counterpart for the Chelsea Hospital for Soldiers. Sir Christopher Wren and his assistant Nicholas Hawksmoor gave their services free of charge as architects of the new Royal Hospital. Sir John Vanbra succeeded Wren as architect, completing the complex to Wren's original plans. Construction was financed through an endowment, financed through the transfer of 19,500 liras in fines paid by merchants convicted of smuggling in 1695, a public fundraising appeal which brought in 9,000 liras, and a 2,000 liras annual contribution from Treasury. In 1705 an additional 6,472 liras was paid into the fund, comprising the liquidated value of estates belonging to the recently hanged pirate Captain William Kidd The first of the principal buildings constructed was the King Charles Court the oldest part dating back to the Restoration, completed in 1705. The first governor, Sir William Gifford, took up office in 1708. United States Federal homes 
The first national veterans' home in the United States was the United States Naval Home approved in 1811 but not opened until 1834 in the Philadelphia Naval Yard. The Naval Home was moved to Gulfport, Mississippi in 1976. It was subsequently opened to veterans of other services and is now the Gulfport campus of the Armed Forces Retirement Home. The first Army National Old Soldiers' Home in the U.S. was established in Washington, D.C. in 1851. General Winfield Scott founded the Soldiers' Home in Washington, D.C. and another since fallen into disuse in Harrodsburg, Kentucky with about $118,000 in leftover proceeds of assessments on occupied Mexican towns and the sale of captured tobacco in the Mexican-American War 1846 the Old Soldiers' Home Washington, now known as the Armed Forces Retirement Home, was the site of President Lincoln's cottage at the Soldiers' Home, which served as Abraham Lincoln's summer home during the Civil War and is adjacent to National Cemetery, the first federal military cemetery in the U.S. President Lincoln's cottage has been designated a national monument, and recently underwent renovation. It reopened to the public on President's Day, 18 February 2008. The home has remained in continuous use since its establishment in 1851. It is located on a beautiful 250-acre wooded campus overlooking the U.S. Capitol in the heart of D.C. and continues to serve as a retirement home for U.S. enlisted men and women. Both the Washington, D.C. and Gulfport Soldiers and Sailors' Homes are funded through a small monthly contribution from the pay of members of the U.S. Armed Services. Following the American Civil War the federal government increased the number of national military homes, and took over a few formerly state-run old soldiers' homes. By 1933 there were 17 federally managed veterans' homes. All except the first two of these homes were eventually combined with other federal government agencies to become part of what is now called the Veterans Administration, or U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs established in 1930. State homes Caring for the disabled and elderly, and the widows and orphans of men who died in the war became a concern even before the Civil War ended. For example, in 1864 Fitch's Home for Soldiers and Their Orphans was opened with private donations in Connecticut. Various female benevolent societies pushed for the creation of a long-term care federal or state soldier home system at the end of the war. Large veterans organizations like the Grand Army of the Republic and United Confederate Veterans eventually also worked for the creation of federal and state homes to care for disabled or elderly veterans. In a few cases veterans organizations on their own raised the money to buy property and build veterans homes. Most of these were quickly turned over to the state government to fund and manage. The majority of state legislatures established veterans homes paid for by state monies from the start. 43 states managed 55 functioning state veterans' homes before 1933. Fourteen of those states also had a federal veterans' home open at the same time as their state veterans' home. Eleven states had two or more state veterans' homes in operation at the same time, two of which also had a federal home. Some states simply had several homes at once. A few states admitted veterans' widows, and a few other states established separate homes for the widows and orphans. A few states had separate Union and Confederate old soldiers' homes. The first of 16 Confederate homes was opened in 1881 in Georgetown, Kentucky. Confederate soldiers' homes were supported entirely by subscribers or by the states, with no funds from the federal government against which the Confederates had fought. A few state-run old soldiers' homes were eventually folded into the federal veterans' home system. As their last few Civil War veterans were dying in the 1930s, some states chose to close their old soldiers' homes, and other states began admission of veterans from more recent wars. Several of these state old soldiers' homes have been modernized and stop serve veterans. <laughs> <laughs> City homes Soldier homes in major cities were among the earliest, usually starting more as hotels for men passing through town, but increasingly taking on disabled servicemen. These were usually operated as paying businesses rather than being fully funded by the government. Philadelphia had two soldiers' homes which were associated with nearby saloons and got their start as a part of the refreshment and lodging business. 
Women activists also helped establish disabled soldiers' homes in Boston, Chicago, and Milwaukee, or in conjunction with the U.S. Sanitary Commission in 25 other cities. The Boston home closed in 1869, the Philadelphia homes closed in 1872, the Chicago soldiers' home lasted until 1877, and Milwaukee turned into a federal home. U.S. Sanitary Commission Homes, Lodges, and Rest During the Civil War, the U.S. Sanitary Commission provided Union servicemen, "...temporary aid and protection—food, lodging, care, etc.—for soldiers in transit and sick, chiefly the discharged, disabled, and furloughed." By 1865 the Commission operated 18, "...soldiers' homes." 11 lodges and one rest in 15 states north and south for a list see commission bulletin 3 to 1279 most of their homes were wartime facilities and were closed at war's end they are not included in the following list topic <laughs> list of historic old soldiers and sailors homes in the united states By state, Alabama Confederate Soldiers Home a.k.a. Jefferson Manley Faulkner Soldiers Home, Mountain Creek, Alabama Tuskegee Home a.k.a. Veterans Administration Hospital and Nursing Home, Tuskegee, Alabama Arkansas Confederate Soldiers Home, Sweet Home, Arkansas Los Angeles Disabled Veterans Home a.k.a. Pacific Branch National Military Home, Sawtell, Los Angeles, California Veterans Home of California Yontville, Yontville, California Colorado State Soldiers and Sailors Home, Homelake, Colorado Fitch's Home for Soldiers and Their Orphans, Darien, Connecticut United States Soldiers Home a.k.a. Armed Forces Retirement Home, Washington, D.C. Florida Old Confederate Soldiers and Sailors Home, Jacksonville, Florida St. Petersburg National Home, Bay Pines, St. Petersburg, Florida Confederate Soldiers Home a.k.a. Georgia Soldiers Home, Atlanta, Georgia Idaho State Soldiers Home, Boise, Idaho Soldiers Home, Chicago, Illinois Danville Branch National Military Home, Danville, Illinois Logan Home a.k.a. Maywood Home for Soldiers Widows, Maywood, Illinois Illinois Soldiers and Sailors Home a.k.a. Illinois Veterans Home, Quincy, Illinois Soldiers Widows Home, Wilmington, Illinois Marion Branch National Military Home, Marion, Indiana Indiana State Soldiers Home, West Lafayette, Indiana Iowa Veterans Home, Marshalltown, Iowa Kansas Soldiers Home, Fort Dodge, Kansas Kansas State Soldiers Home a.k.a. Western Branch National Military Home, Leavenworth, Kansas Confederate Soldiers Home and Widows and Orphans Asylum, Georgetown, Kentucky Kentucky Confederate Soldiers Home, Peewee Valley, Kentucky Soldiers Home at Harrodsburg, Kentucky Soldiers Home of Louisiana a.k.a. Camp Nichols Soldiers Home, New Orleans, Louisiana Eastern Branch National Military Home, Togus, Maine Maryland Line Confederate Soldiers Home, Pikesville, Maryland Discharged Soldiers Home, Boston, Massachusetts Soldiers Home, Chelsea, Massachusetts Soldiers Home, Holyoke, Massachusetts Grand Rapids Home for Veterans, Grand Rapids, Michigan Minnesota Veterans Home, Minneapolis, Minnesota Beauvoir Confederate Soldiers Home a.k.a. Jefferson Davis Beauvoir Memorial Soldiers Home, Biloxi, Mississippi Biloxi Home, National Home a.k.a. VA Medical Center, Biloxi, Mississippi Missouri Confederate Home, Higginsville, Missouri Missouri State Federal Soldiers Home, St. James, Missouri Montana State Soldiers Home, Columbia Falls, Montana Soldiers and Sailors Home, Grand Island, Nebraska Soldiers and Sailors Home, Milford, Nebraska New Hampshire Soldiers Home, Tilton, New Hampshire Home for Disabled Soldiers, Kearney, New Jersey Veterans Memorial Home, Menlo Park, New Jersey 
Home for Disabled Soldiers, Newark, New Jersey Veterans Memorial Home, Vineland, New Jersey New York State Soldiers and Sailors Home aka Bath Branch National Military Home, Bath, New York State Women's Relief Corps Home aka New York State Veterans Home, Oxford, New York Confederate Women's Home, Fayetteville, North Carolina North Carolina Soldiers Home, Raleigh, North Carolina Soldiers Home, Lisbon, North Dakota Central Branch National Soldiers Home, Dayton, Ohio Soldiers Home, Sandusky, Ohio Oklahoma Confederate Home aka Oklahoma Veterans Center, Ardmore, Oklahoma Oklahoma Union Soldiers Home, Oklahoma City, Oklahoma Oregon State Soldiers Home aka Roseburg Branch National Military Home, Roseburg, Oregon Soldiers and Sailors Home, Erie, Pennsylvania Cooper Shop Soldiers Home, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania Soldiers Home of Philadelphia, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania United States Naval Home, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania Rhode Island Soldiers Home, Bristol, Rhode Island Confederate Home for Soldiers and Sailors aka South Carolina Confederate Infirmary, Columbia, South Carolina Battle Mountain Sanitarium National Military Home, Hot Springs, South Dakota South Dakota State Soldiers Home aka Michael J. Fitzmaurice Veterans Home, Hot Springs, South Dakota Mountain Branch National Military Home, Johnson City, Tennessee Confederate Soldiers Home aka Tennessee Soldiers Home, Hermitage, Nashville, Tennessee Texas Confederate Home for Men, Austin, Texas Texas Confederate Women's Home, North of Austin, Texas Vermont Soldiers Home, Bennington, Vermont Southern Branch National Military Home, Hampton, Virginia Virginia Confederate Soldiers Home aka Lee Camp Soldiers Home, Richmond, Virginia Washington State Soldiers Home, and Washington State Soldiers Colony, Ording, Washington Washington Veterans Home, Retzel, Washington Grand Army Home, a.k.a. Wisconsin Veterans Home, King, Wapaka County, Wisconsin Milwaukee Soldiers Home, in the 90 acres 36 hectares Milwaukee Soldiers Home National Historic Landmark District — Northwestern Branch, National Home for Disabled Volunteer Soldiers Historic District, on the 400 acres 160 hectares Clement J. Zablotsky VA Medical Center grounds in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. The most intact soldiers home in the country and the only one with the majority of its surrounding recuperative village remaining. Wyoming State Home for Soldiers and Sailors, Cheyenne, Wyoming 1895-1903, it was relocated to Buffalo, Wyoming in 1903, where it continues to serve in the present day. See also Retirement Home Nursing Home